Your sickness. We have captured the Earth people and await your command. The Earth people, eh? Bring them to me at once. Okay, this is episode two of Flash Gordon. Uh, it's called The Tunnel of Terror. Uh, and in this episode, Flash is rescued by Princess Aura, uh, who then locks him in the rocket ship, uh, where he's uh, eventually uh, rescued by the Lion Men. Uh, and he then teams up with them to break back into the palace in an attempt to uh, rescue Dale. Uh, so, yep, I hope you enjoy uh, The Tunnel of Terror. of them both. Take her to the palace. Are you all right? Yes, I'll be all right. What's that? The dragon of death. How did this net get here? My father. Boy, sure, it's lucky for us. We've got to get out of here before the guards come. How? The secret door. Come on, come on.
Does my workshop compare favorably with those on Earth, Dr. Zorkov? There is no comparison, Your Majesty. This is a scientist's paradise. But what has become of my friends from the Earth? Do not worry. They are being cared for. I won't put on these clothes. I won't do anything until you tell me what's happened to Flash Gordon. of energy here is great enough to conquer the universe. Which I intend to do with your aid, Sarkov. safe in here until I've talked with my father. No, no, I'm going with you. I've got to find out what happened to Dale. Please. You would only do great harm. I alone can save her. You will never see Dale Arden again. refuses to obey your royal command. She refuses to become my bride? Yes, Your Majesty. As High Priest, you know what to do. You mean the dehumanizer? Exactly. But there is grave danger. Not if you see to it that the hypnotic spell lasts only long enough for you to perform the marriage ceremony. Science will overcome all things, even the human emotions. ships of the lion men are coming to attack us. Gallon pilot single handed speeds to my defense. He is a brave man. And will be royally rewarded if he lives through this fight. Order out the rest of the fleet to help him.
Why do you not slay me? For only to save my friends, who are prisoners in Ming's palace. Then you're not an ally of Ming's. I'll say I'm not. You've been trying to kill me ever since I landed here. I am Thun, Prince of the Lion Men. Ming is also my enemy. And I'm Flash Gordon from the Earth. You have spared my life. I will help you free the prisoners of whom you speak. I'll need plenty of help. Thanks. Ming is merciless and all-powerful. He can only be taken by surprise. You'll be surprised, all right. Come. I will show you a secret passage that leads to the palace. What has become of Flash Gordon? Please. You will never see the Earth Man again. But you will not miss him. Soon you will forget him forever. Take us to Dr. Zarkov, scientist from the Earth. The Earth man in the laboratories. I cannot. Better do as he asks. In the ceremony, determine if the god Teo is favorable to the marriage. of this planet has been changed. The Earth will not be destroyed. Ah, that's fine. Where's Dale? Ming has ordered her prepared for some ordeal. The high priest came here to report to Ming, and I believe that Ming is going to force Dale to become his wife. Well, we've got to find her at once! What's that mean? What does that mean? Tell me! Oh, all right. Follow me. That. It is the oracle deciding the marriage. Where will this marriage ceremony be held? In a secret chamber underground. Take me there. I can. It's guarded by a huge beast. Take me there. I will go with you. And I. Thun and I will go. You stay here. Dale may need you. I'll lead you to the tunnel, but shall not enter. Her Majesty, he has escaped. What have you done with the Earth Man God? I will not tell you unless. You decree that his life be spared. God Teo sanctions your marriage to the Earth Girl. Let us proceed with my marriage ceremony first. Then we will see about your Earth Man God. Why have you left the laboratories? Permit me, Your Majesty, to congratulate you on your coming marriage. Mm. Perhaps you would like to attend.
thirteenth stroke of the sacred gong, the wedding ceremony will be completed. ceremony is underway. Okay, I, I thought this was another uh, quite a good episode. There's uh, again plenty of action in it. The the plot moves along pretty uh, quickly. Uh, Princess Aura is rescuing Flash from the uh, clutches of the ape men, uh, but it soon becomes obvious that uh, she doesn't really want to rescue uh, the Earth people from the clutches of Ming. Uh, she's just just got a hot for Flash, which becomes quite obvious in the scene where they. Uh, are uh, stuck in the cave uh, and so she goes and uh, locks him up in the rocket ship and vows that uh, she, that he's never going to see Dale again. She obviously doesn't care too much uh, that uh, Dale is about to be married off to, uh, to Ming. Um, but uh, he's then uh, rescued by the lion men and uh, they then uh, team up to break back into the palace. Um, why the so uh, intent on rescuing Dale from the fate of being married to Ming, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, once they get back to Earth, I don't think uh, she'd be accused of bigamy for for, for being married to uh, Ming on the planet Mongo. But uh, presumably, uh, the implication is that uh, that he uh, doesn't want uh, doesn't want Ming to uh, to to to, to shag her basically, uh, so presumably that's why he uh, is so desperate to avoid this marriage going ahead, and his his usual uh, method of trying to force information out of people is to uh, try and strangle them, uh, which he does uh, at least twice in this uh, episode. Uh, which, given that uh, his adversaries are normally armed with uh, clubs and and guns, uh, it seems. Uh, Strange that, uh, that they, they aren't able to offer any any resistance to this, um, but uh, he, he manages to get the information out of them, and uh, he uh, eventually is able to to get back into the palace. Um, the Zarkov is the, uh, the the first uh, of the crew to get uh, a superhero outfit, which uh, is a cute little number that he has, and. Uh, 
completely inappropriate, but uh, probably more uh, revealing, I think, than any of the other outfits that any of them have. Uh, D Dale's outfit at the wedding was actually regarded uh, by the Hayes Commission as being uh, too revealing uh, for uh, this type of film uh, in this era. Uh, but they, they didn't seem to have anything to say about any of the uh, costumes that uh, people like uh, Zarkov and, and Flash were having to wear, uh, which seems a bit odd. Uh, today, but uh, I'd say that you know it's uh, they're, they're probably uh, uh, worse than the outfits that, uh, that that were worn in the 1980 film or or, uh, or even in Flesh Gordon. But uh, it's, uh, it's 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 another good episode. I mean the uh, the effects are again obviously uh, a bit corny, but uh, there's something strangely, I think, a bit spooky about some of the uh, the monsters, though. That uh, that, that sort of giant parrot that uh, uh, attacks uh, Flash as he's on his way back to the palace. Uh, I, I think I'd be a bit uh, frightened if I came across uh, came across a, a thirty foot high parrot with uh, with with, with uh, lobster claws. Um, so it, it may not be realistic, but you know somehow I think it, it, it does the job in terms of uh, in, t in terms of what it's supposed to do in the film. Um, as for uh, Charles Middleton as Ming, I mean he was done up to uh, look like uh, the character Fu Manchu from the uh, Fu Manchu novels, which uh, were about twenty odd years old at this time, and he was deliberately therefore intended as a kind of mashup uh, between uh, those two characters, between uh, Fu Manchu and the character of Ming uh, as per the uh, comic strip. Um, but uh, as for the uh, uh, portrayal by Middleton, uh, you know, I, th I think it's, it's questionable whether he is really very effective in, in the role. I, I, I don't think, uh, you know, he's really all that menacing. He, he kind of resembles a, a sort of kindly old grandpa figure to me. Uh, I, th I think, you know, uh, if anything, I think uh, he, he was probably portrayed a bit a bit more effectively with a bit more menace in the uh, the, the, the spoof film Flesh Gordon. But uh, but overall, I think it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's ticking along quite well. It's, uh, you know, the, the action is never ending. And it, I think it grips you from start to finish. And certainly, I'm I'm looking forward to um, watching the, uh, the 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 next episode. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below.